So this piece here is the uh, the third set of variations based on McCartney, Lennon McCartney's uh, work, uh, Word Without Love, which was originally recorded by Peter and Gordon. Actually, it wasn't recorded by um, Lennon and McCartney. They didn't feel it was a good enough piece of music to put on um, on, a, on an album. Uh, so it's not been recorded by them. But I still think it's a lovely piece of music. In fact, John Lennon is, is quoted as having said that as soon as <laughs> Paul McCartney played him the opening opening line, please lock me away, Lennon said, perfect, don't need to do any more. I think it's a, it's a nice little story. She's quite cynical. Uh, sort of outlook, you thought it was, that was all that the song needed. Um, but it's a beautiful tune. And again, it, um, it focuses your... Um, focuses me as a composer on, on listening for what is it about the McCartney and Lennon um, pieces of music that are, that are interesting and again it's the um, it's the interchange between major and minor so please lock me away and on a lot of day here inside where I Then my first, uh, the first trigger in the piece came at this point. So nice, you get C major in the key of E major. You get a C major chord before a result of the B7. And that little fragment there, I played around with that a little bit. I suppose the B, of course, the B being part of the E major chord. Whenever you hear that in the variations, that's where it's come from. Is that C to uh, B7 uh, change. And there's one other change in it as well, which I find really nice, and that's the use of the harmonic, uh, not the harmonic, the melodic minor scale when we're in the key of A minor. So F sharp, G sharp, A. Typically in the key of A minor we don't have F sharps and G sharps, maybe we just have F's, G's and A's. F, G, A. As soon as we add the F sharp, G sharp. F sharp, G sharp, A. Then we have that, that the two um, tonalities coming in, the major and the minor at the same time. And as a, I'll play a little bit later on, there'll be a, the, the penultimate variation before the, the before the introduction of the theme uses that idea of using the F sharp and the G sharp and the A over an A pedal. Um, so it exposes that idea of the major and the minor at the same time. But this piece here we'll, we'll just kick off with the, with the start and you'll hear that C to B change. And there it is. And then we hear the F sharp G sharp A. Too. And then we come back in with our then we return into A major, which is nice. So we introduce the harmonics here, which we use later on. That little fragment there, just before we get on to the blues variation, that little fragment there actually echoes a little bit of the um, of the piece uh, Sigrun Dia El Olvido by Gerardo Durier, which finishes the second disc um, on the album. But we can talk, we might talk about that another time. And then we get into a, a, a movement which is based on the on the um, bass line. So you hear this. It's a G sharp. C sharp. And those are the first three chords. So on and so forth. So 
it's quite a tricky technique because I've got to play with um, a muted bass string, but I've got to try and expose the top strings so I can play much like a flat picker, a country style picker. Um, the trouble is with classical guitar, it means I end up plucking with those really awkward bits of my nail on the wrong side of the nail. Usually I'm used to plucking on this side. another variation there we're inspired by the words really um, the idea of, of shivering um, so the first lyric of course is please lock me away which is the blues one that we just heard then and then we have uh, the lyric and don't allow the day here inside and my main idea behind what I do um, musically in this variation is to not allow any light in through uh, through the music so you'll hear it's very very condensed very very quick um, very tight rhythms um, alternating between a, a sort of a four semiquaver and a five semiquaver, so any chance of any light coming in is quickly snuffed out by the idea of the five. So getting in there and just making sure there's absolute darkness. And the, we have a couple of other movements, which are um, one is called with movement, which is based on the uh, the lyric where I hide. And then we have uh, sort of getting into where my some of my favourite material is in, in the variations, which is um, a languid theme, which comes in that's partnered up with the um, the lyrics with my loneliness. And that's just very much based on the idea of that uh, A pedal, which comes in to play a little bit later on in the variation and the, um, the theme that I'll play soon. But we have this idea. which echoes the, the what I remember I said before the idea of the five and the shivering theme cutting out in the light. This five four theme here builds on um, builds on that idea. And it has fragments of the melody as well that um, so are we in in a while with the F sharp G sharp A. And then we have an unhappy theme which I really quite like. It's a nice nice change in the departure which is in the key of B um, which is a really quick angry unhappy um, sort of sort of movement as well. And then we get into the sort of the the final sort of uh, throws of the of the variations um, with the reflective theme, which introduces that idea of uh, the um, melodic minor scale. Mm -hmm. 